Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to study the demodulation of FM waves. Now, there are two methods for the demodulation of FM waves. Number one is frequency discrimination. Number two is the phase lock loop. In this video, we are going to study the frequency discrimination method. So, frequency discrimination method is also called the slope detection technique. In this case, we have slope detection followed by envelope detection. The FM demodulator produces an output voltage dependent on frequency. Because information in, the, in an AM signal is present in the instantaneous frequency, so AM is to provide uh, an output proportional to the instantaneous frequency. Now this is the block diagram of the slope detection method or the frequency discrimination method. We have the FM signal. That FM signal is passed to the ideal differentiator. So we have slope detection taking place over here. When this is plus, uh, passed to the ideal differentiator, we have the derivative of the FM signal. Then the derivative of the FM signal is passed to an envelope detector. As a result, we have the envelope and that envelope, uh, the output of that envelope is proportional to the message signal. Now let us understand this mathematically. We know that the FM signal is given as, I am going to write over here that FM of T is equal to A into cosine omega CT plus KF integration of minus infinity to T M alpha T alpha. Notice that we have assumed a constant amplitude over here. So in this disc frequency discrimination method, I have assumed a constant amplitude. Now we need to take the derivative of this FM signal. So I need to take the derivative of this FM signal. So this will be equal to the derivative of cosine is sine. So I am going to get minus a sine minus a sine of this thing which is omega ct plus kf integration of minus infinity to t m alpha d alpha and again derivative of this thing which is d by dt of this portion this is omega ct plus kf integration of minus infinity to t m alpha d alpha So I am going to write this thing again, this will be my phi m of t with dot, which is the derivative of the fm signal. So this will be equal to minus a into sine omega ct plus kf integration of minus infinity to t m alpha t alpha. And then we are going to have the derivative of this thing. So this will be omega c. And this will be because kf is constant and this integration and derivative will be cut and we are going to have m of t. So actually let me rearrange it. We are going to have the derivative of the fm signal written as minus a omega c plus kf m of t into sine omega c t plus kf minus infinity to t m alpha t alpha let me name it as equation one now this equation represents both amplitude and frequency modulation where we have the envelope which is this thing so i have the envelope which is equal to a into omega c plus kf m of t and because we have the frequency deviation del w which is equal to kf mp less than the carrier frequency omega c also we have omega c plus kf m of t greater than zero for all t the m of t that is the message signal can be obtained using the envelope detection of this signal so let us understand this from diagrams I have a frequency modulated signal where I have high frequency components as well as low frequency components. Now this FM signal is passed to the ideal differentiator. This is my uh, transfer function of the ideal differentiator. The FM signal is passed to this frequency response. In practice, the high pass filter can act as a uh, differentiator. 
Now when this is passed to the differentiator, as a result I have a signal over here. And as a result I have the envelope which is equal to A into omega C plus Kf M of T. Now this is actually equal to A into omega C plus A Kf M of T. Now I am going to pass this to the low pass filter and to the DC blocking capacitor. Because this term is my DC so this term will be cancelled out and this uh, here the message signal will be obtained by cancelling out the DC term. So as a result I am going to get the message signal. So in this way I can recover the message signal using the slope detection technique. Thank you.